all right guys <clears throat> uh yes i am driving so i will not be looking down at the screen so you guys have to forgive me for not being able to look down at the screen uh, but i want to talk about um this is something i was reflecting on um last night um i had about a five hour conversation with two brothers in the lord and man we got us some deep conversations um from everything from prophetic stuff to practical stuff and this kind of was inspired from that but i want to talk about just for just a brief second about the three temptations of christ and i believe that every individual so maybe this is for you so this is why i kind of threw this out there um if you're in a maybe you're in this season of a transition in which maybe the lord has called you to step out into uncharted territory maybe he's called you uh to start a ministry maybe he's called you into a new job a new position uh maybe you're moving to a new location uh you know whatever the case may be it's uncharted it's unknown it's something that you um you have no idea uh really what you're stepping into it's really a walk by faith uh, and you say well how's what's that got to do with the three temptations of christ well and I'm going to talk about those. We know that uh, he was tempted. If you be the son of God, turn this uh, stone into bread. If you be the son of God, uh, cast yourself off the temple uh, for the angels shall bear you up and lest you dash your foot against a stone. If you be the son of God, bow down unto me and I'll give you the kingdoms of, uh, uh, I'll give you the kingdoms of this world. So in these three temptations, I believe that uh, every individual um, that is in this situation in which you're going to step out into uncharted territory, step out into a new ministry, new horizon, new city, new location, new friends, new people, new connections, uh, a new season. Paul said, listen to this, Paul said, a great and effectual door has opened unto me and with it much adversity. Now, here's the adversity that I'm going to talk about. Jesus, uh, the devil said, if you be the son of God, turn this stone into bread in other words watch this guys satan will tempt us to do things his way and he'll and he says this he said look i'll make something hard easy watch stones are hard but bread is soft in other words if you'll do it my way if you'll i know god said do it this way but if you'll do things this way I'll make a situation that seems to be hard, I'll make it easy. Now listen guys, things that are difficult doesn't mean they're not of God. This is what I've learned in 15 years. Just because there's adversity, just because there's opposition, just because it's not going the way we think it should, because it's bringing pain, it's bringing stress, it's bringing sleepless nights, come on somebody, it's bringing restlessness, it's stirring you up, it's costing you something, you're having to leave friends, you're having to, you're having to leave familiarity, you're going to uncharted territory, you're going to uncharted waters. We think that God, because if, look, if God's in it, it's got to be easy and it's got to be smooth. And I hear people pray. Listen, I've been guilty of this. I've prayed this before. God, I want a smooth transition. Well, wait a minute. The Bible says that a great and effectual door has opened and with it much adversity. That tells me, guys, that when usually when it's a God thing, there's going to be opposition. There's going to be adversity behind it. Okay, number two. Watch. Now, I'm going to show you something that will all be faced with in temptation. Guys, listen, I'm preaching to myself right now. This is why the the uh, we were in this conversation and these guys were into a deep conversation. I'm getting a whole download of something totally different uh, and, this, and it has to do with what I'm sharing with you right now. Jesus, uh, the, the Satan said, uh, if you be the son of God, go up to the pinnacle of the temple, throw yourself off and the angels of the Lord will bury you up lest you dash your foot against a stone. Well, okay, now watch this. Who in their right mind would do something stupid like that? But you know what? When we get our eyes and our focus off the Lord and our destiny, our identity, our purpose, come on somebody, the mission in which God has called us to, we will do stupid things to try to get clarity. In other words, Nobody in their right mind 
would jump off a building to try to prove the the uh, the authenticity of the scripture. In other words, I am not going to go off the uh, up a up a hotel and jump off of a building because I believe that the Lord will bear me up in His hands, lest I dash against. In other words, I'm not going to tempt God. But a lot of times, unwillingly, we don't realize it, but we're tempting God. And I'm going to say, here's one of the ways that we tempt the Lord a lot of times, and we don't realize it, but um, you know, there was the story of Gideon and the fleece. You know, how many times are we going to throw a fleece up, guys? There has to become a time of maturity in the Lord where every single time we need a word from God, we're not throwing a fleece out. Look, I'm not against throwing fleeces, but if you're throwing a fleece out every single time you need a word, then again, you're tempting God and you're basically eliminating the pursuit or the diligence of seeking him. The Bible says those who diligently seek him, he's a rewarder of those who do such. He's a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. The Bible says that it's the glory of God to conceal a matter, but it's the glory of kings to search it out. Guys, God has a way of playing hide and seek in which he will He will purposely veil the full picture so that we can pursue him on a deeper level. Listen, I'm telling you, that's that's how God rolls. So again, don't do something stupid. I'm preaching to myself when we get into a dire straight situation where we've got to hear from God. So in other words, we don't have a, a go in our spirit, but we're going to go anyway, because by God, I'm going to step off the boat and I'll sink if I have to because I got to get a word. Now, listen, I'm not saying that God ain't going to call you to step out of the boat. But what I am saying is you better know that you know that you're called to do it. You've got to have a word, guys. That's the bottom line. Out of the testimony of, of two or more witnesses, let every word be established. If you know that you got a, a word and, you, and no one can shake you from knowing that, then you do that. You go forward. Abraham stepped out into uncharted territories because he had a word. Joseph had a word. Uh, the Bible says he remained in chains and fetters until his word came to pass. So you got to have a word. All right, number three, because uh, and this is the last point, and I'm going to get off here. G, uh, the, Satan said, if you be the son of God, bow unto me, and I'll give you the kingdoms of this world. Listen, this is perplexing. Last time I checked, guys, Jesus owns it all. Come on, somebody. He says that the, the cattle on a thousand hills is mine the silver and gold is mine and the earth and the fullness thereof is mine so how is satan going to give something to god that already is here's the point guys satan was saying if you'll bow down to me if you'll give me your if you'll submit unto my way and do things like i want to do them then i'll i'll give you the opportunity to go back into the sphere of influence in which you had and I will make you a king. But it was never the will of God for Jesus to be a king on the earth during that time because he would have to suffer as the Messiah and then come back and rule and reign uh, as, as king of kings and the Lord of lords. So the point is this, guys, that, um, again, Satan was saying, look, if you'll bow down to me and submit your authority unto me, I'll send you back. Come on, if you'll just go back to where you came from, if you'll just go back to the ministry that you came out of, even though you know that the Lord called you out of it or a situation, then I will make things easy that was once hard. But guys, it's not always the will of God. Again, I will make the stones unto bread. I will make what is hard and difficult easy, but it doesn't mean it's of God. Come on, guys. Again, this is something that's just been really flowing in my spirit. Um, and, uh, and just, just you, you guys can pull those scriptures up. It's in the book of Luke and the book of Matthew. And this is some very, just a deeper practical revelation that I got on this, but look, I got to get off here cause I'm in a situation now. I don't need to be on the phone. So I, I got to be safe. Right? So again, we don't want to tempt the Lord. So God bless you guys. Love you. Share this. If you think this is a word for somebody, I'll put this up on YouTube later as well. So God bless guys. Talk to you soon.